Call the fire department, tell them old Charlie's got himself stuck in the well again. They'll know what it means. Shut up and have spoon. to give the hand with fishing. That's bait box over there. Ah, good idea. You can go in and all. Did you see that bird earlier? That's our bird, Jackie. Ah, Bubba Bossy, that's a far from me. It's Bubba Bossy, so custom as well. Yes, but it can be the best of me. And now it's our next one. Oh, catch of the day! You've been up to some mischief with us, I'll bet! What you on about, Jasper? I don't know. Wait till your Ma hears about this! I'm taking this back to my toolbox, and I'll see you at the triple lad! Jasper, you puppy, do me nothing! Ah! Baby, yeah. Ah. Ah. And he said, £2.50 for parking. And I said, good God, I'm a duck. I wish I'd never asked. It's the smell. We're going to bounce with balls on a date. We're going to go to second base, swapping shoes. Kerry, if you don't give over, I'm going to tell Mum you've been drinking a nail varnish in the park. Can you believe the cheek of that wee boy? I dread to think the trouble he was up to with this old thing. Anyway, I think I've almost cracked her open. Take a look inside, won't you? See if you can't flush all this muck out. Oh 
right, Marge. That's your pipes all cleaned out. And I fixed the fryer. Ah, thanks, lovey. I hope it wasn't too much bother. I'll put you some chippies on. I need bother at all. But where does all that oil drain out to anyway? Oh, I've got no clue, love. <laughs> Open for business. Morning. Florence, doctor called about your psoriasis. He said it's terminal. I don't have psoriasis, Kerry. You just colour me in with a felt tip pen when I'm sleeping. <laughs> oh dear, poor lad's in a rag state. <sighs> oh hello there, young man. Thank goodness you're here. I've got this delicious cup of tea here, you see, but uh, I'm afraid it's as black as a bin bag in there. It, it really is. I'd go and get some more milk. I, I would, but the, the, the trouble is, I'm afraid I'm, 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 I'm milk shy. <laughs> I'd see what's wrong, but Bobby says I've got to stay away from windows now. Goodness, you're here, lad. Ah, oh, Bessie's sick as a pig. Chippies usually perk her up, though. Oh, you couldn't go up to Marge's and get us some, could you? She's neither use nor ornament till she's had her chippies. Come on up.
Job. How do? Hi there, Mr. and Mrs. Bingy. Very nice to meet you both. Now then, Jack, how about a lager beer? Ah, go on then. Hey, I like him already. Wow, Mrs. Bingy. This is delicious. I've never had pie and sweet before. Thank you, Jackalus. Well, what do you normally have with your pie at all, lad? Well, usually the pie is big enough on its own. Big enough? Uh -oh. oh, look, please, don't make a fuss. Big enough? No, love, I won't have it. Not under my roof. Not on my dinner table. Love, please. I really didn't mean anything by it. You shut your mouth. Oh, damn. And you can shut it and all. No daughter of mine is going with a big pie, man. Good morning! Thank goodness you're here! It's my breakfast time already, and I need some shopping, but I'm bed-bound, and I don't like other hands touching my shopping. Might you be able to assist? Oh no! Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry! Asbestos never gave anybody third degree burns. Uh. I don't know why I even bother. I preferred him cold personally. I thought we were finished for the day, but we've had to come down and sort this out. Never in all my years of service. Anyway, I'm off to Planet Shoe this afternoon to get some rogues fitted. The lady there is so attentive. She's my muse, you see. What's a muse, Ronnie? Well, Larry, when it's late at night, you're all alone in your bed, and you're caught in the throes of your own carnal desire. And you're, you know, reaching a rhythm with yourself. You know, Larry, you're tugging your button. When you reach your crescendo, who is it that you picture in your mind's eye? Oh, for me, I suppose that'll be the weatherman. Well, that's it then, Larry. The weatherman is your muse. I see, Ronnie. Right you are. Doctor says me kicking days are over. I'm going to see the back of you, you wee melon head. Uh, actually, I've got just the job for you. Why don't you head down to Price Shaggers 
and pick us up some spirit level bubbles. <laughs> hey, boys. <laughs> <laughs> How does that sound? Right, away you go! Are you here to give me a hand with the tatties? I've got it tough, me. Yeah? Huh? We both do. We're tatties. Oh, I. Yep. Potty to a bed. Dirt for breakfast. Dirt for dinner. And we also sleep in sacks. Exactly. And for what? Best case scenario, we're peeled, chopped up, and drowned in oil. Aye, we've got it tough, us. Aye, we've got it tough. But at least we're all right now. Much better, Bessie. And just in time, too. We better be setting off. Though well, we don't want to miss our special appointment. Oh, I hope we find the place okay. Apparently, it's opposite our little field. The house with the blue door. Well, here it is. Oh. I'm too nervous to knock. You do it, Bessie. No. You're nervous too? Oh dear, oh dear. We'll be here all day. Ooh. Never had a bath before. So, do you come here often? This is awfully nice. I got it from a car boot sale. No, I went and I was. I said, that's an awfully strange car boot. And he said, well, it's a hot tub. Uh. Oh. oh, my. Sleep it off down the station.
me that. Pickle me this. Hold on to me brush, I'm about to piss. What are you wearing? Green dungarees and a flat cap? You're not going to believe this. <laughs> Heavens to beetroot. I need to get that fixed. for worms and it's a bag of soil. I said in arrears. Well I can try, but it's your wife. Please check to see if any are attractive. 